one minute. So let us put our hands together. Postmaster. I know our VP education, Ajit Kumar, is trying really hard to get the role players. Last year, I have been the VP education for this club. Dear friends, trust me, it is very easy to propose to a girl and make her your lover. <laughs> but getting members to pursue, to take a role, is very, very hard. <laughs> Toastmasters today, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. <coughs> today, I want to share with you my experiments as VP education, different styles of communication. When I was a novice VP education, I tried two Bs. First one, begging. <laughs> Vishak, could you please be the account for the next session? <laughs> Malikajun, could you be the speaker for the next session? <laughs> the next B is bullying. Jera, how many times I told you to take up this role? If you are not taking up this role this time, I will not give you any role for the next four months. <laughs> but my two bees didn't work at all. <laughs> then I thought of experimenting the four types of communication styles. I started with the initiating style. The initiating style is very simple. It is interacting with people through stories. So I started. Dear friends, imagine you are giving a presentation in your office, in front of your management team. Suddenly you got nervous and you couldn't do justice to your presentation. But if you take up roles in the Toastmasters session, you will get practice in presentation and you could do a wonderful job. After listening to my pitch, my fellow Toastmasters told me, now sure, what a nice imagination. But you see, I am busy with my office works. I may not be even attending the next session. Then I tried the supportive communication style. Supportive communication style <coughs> is a method of giving assurances to the people. So I started like this. Dear folks, I assure you the full value of money you paid to the Toastmasters. <laughs> I know some of you are not comfortable with the current timings. I assure you we will change the timings after this season. I trust you people will take up roles in the next session. My fellow members appreciated my trust, but nobody came to take up any role. <laughs> Later, I thought of moving to analytical style of communication. In the analytical style, we talk about facts, figures, and statistics. Dear friends, are you aware one in 200 members joining Toastmasters only one is achieving DTM, Distinguished Toastmaster level. It is also interesting to note that the Toastmasters retention capacity is only 55%. You may not be seeing the person sitting next to you after two, three sessions. So now take up the role. I thought some fish in my net, but it was still empty. Finally, I chose the direct communication style. In direct communication style, there is no beating around the bush. We will communicate directly. Dear friends, you have to take up the role for the next session for three reasons. Number one, 
you will get enough practices practices to reach the dto number 2 you will get uninterrupted supports from your mentors and club officers and most importantly number 3 you will be representing our club in the future contests to my surprise i see many hands are rising and even i got more role players than required for some sessions so i understood direct communication style is apt for this kind of situation dear toast masters communication <coughs> is like a vehicle on the road to <coughs> take you to the destination if you want to go to the nearby supermarket you don't need a sophisticated aircraft a bicycle will do that the right communication with the right people at the right time will give the right results i have discovered my communication style how you over to you toastmaster